for what led a grandmother to kill her two young grandsons and take her own life. That's what police as well as family and friends are trying to make sense out of tonight. News 8's Tina Detel spoke to people who work at the daycare where the kids were picked up. She is live in Montville tonight with more on this very tragic story. Tina. That's right, Keith and Ann. Police continue to investigate what they are calling a double murder suicide. Now, they want to know everything they can about Deborah Dennison, who she was and where she was and what she had done between the time that she and the boys were found at 930 last night and when she picked them up from the daycare seven hours earlier. We're faring. We're, we're sad. Is it really close to home this time? Emotions running high at Kids and Company Daycare in North Stonington. At 2.30 Tuesday afternoon, 47-year-old Deborah Dennison picked up her grandsons, six-month-old Ashton Perry and his older brother Alton, who turned two yesterday. Their arrangement was she was going to spend some time with the boys and then they were going to meet up later with Brenda and Jeremy for family parties. Never did they imagine what would happen instead. A suicide note alerted the boys' parents that they were in danger, sparking a statewide Amber Alert, which would end in tragedy. Their bodies found in Denison's van next to Lake of Isles in Preston at 9.30 Tuesday night. Police believe Denison shot the boys and then turned the gun on herself. I was shocked, yeah. It was a horrible thing. You know, and then my heart goes out to the family for, you know, what has happened. It's awful. Yeah, it's poor I mean, children. Colleen O'Connor lives across the street from Denison in Stonington and was even more shocked when she heard her neighbor named in the Amber Alert. Denison's family telling police she was bipolar and had mental health problems. A man who answered Denison's door waved us away. The same happened at Alton and Ashton's home in North Stonington, where their parents are now mourning a tremendous loss. Their mom, Brenda, once worked at this daycare center. So she's a, she's a great mom. Um, those boys were her life. And certainly a very tough day for this family and everyone who knew them. Now, Christine Hare there, who you just saw, the owner of the daycare center, she says that Deborah Perry actually worked at the center years ago. Now, she tells us that counselors from North Stonington schools have reached out and offered their services. If anyone needs to talk to them, they are there. They are available for you. We're live in Montville at the State Police Barracks. Tina Detell, News 8.